Hi, I'm Max, and welcome to Poppy Playtime. Um, for the record, I'm only playing this because it's free. If it wasn't free, I probably wouldn't be playing it right now, because I don't want to buy it. <laughs> um, I'm not saying I pirated it, I'm saying the Chapter 1 on Steam is free now, so I can see why, because it's literally 30 minutes. And that's terrible for a d terrible deal for five dollars. Anyway, um, I'm gonna leave some of my thoughts for the end of the game. Um, I haven't played it, but it's been a while since I've, like, a few months since I watched Mark play it. So, chapter one: a tight squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. New game. I didn't check any of the. Quality options, it's probably fine. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Audio's Poppy off. gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe. Just watch. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl, just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can Title card. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Vintage Poppy commercial. Okay. Do I click? Oh, there, if I hold click, I think I skip it. Hello? Game? Oh, it's loading. Alright, I reset it. Let's see. Don't touch anything. Okay. Can I turn the sensitivity up? It's, uh, there. Escape to pause. Quit game, yes please, no. Um. Hello, Poppy, uh, Playtime and Co. How may I help you? Okay. Um, I'm assuming it's E? Yes, E. Just like Bendy. I just got done playing Bendy. Um. Bearby. Poppy wants to play. Please don't. There's colors. That's blocked off. Okay. Oh! Okay, that was scary. E to open doors. Oh. Green, pink, yellow, red. Like I said, it's been a while since I watched Mark Player play, so I have a somewhat grasp on some of the puzzles. Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, 
While we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And oh, that's one hand. of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. That's a pop. That's. I, what's his name? Huggy Wuggy? It's Huggy's hand. Also, uh. Now I'm scared. What was the password again? <laughs> Green, pink, yellow, red. Perfect. Ah, the blue VHS. Everyone knows that VHS. I don't remember ever seeing color-coded VHS tapes. Playtime. Rat Pack. Do I have to read this out, or is it going to say... I have to read it out. Tighten the straps. Okay. Got it. Hold both cannons. Got it. Pull triggers to fire. Pull again to retract. Hold to grip onto object. Only fire at small objects slash handles. Do not fire at a coworker. <laughs> this may cause injury. How strong are these things? Wire is conductive. Use for rewiring. Okay. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. I will. I think I'm pretty trustworthy. I got my eagle badge. Uh, I'm an eagle scout. The glass is non-existent. Oh! Left to fire left hand. Pull down to pull object. Oh! Okay, so it'll stay and I hold. Okay, I got it. So you click, uh, your chair, click, you click again to let go, but if you hold click, you pull. That's cool, until it gets to you, apparently. Uh, now what? Oh, I can just jump over it. Oh, well, this is terrifying. High five! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, fine, I won't high five you. <laughs> Crescent head. How original. Okay, um. Power. Ah! Testing, innovation, theater. I'm saying I need a red hand. Uh, right hand, so. Thank you. Oh, that's reflective. I. Th okay. Remember, do be kind to others. Show up on time. Not hide behind doors to scare Lathe Pierre. Don't. Don't. Wait. Do not hide. That's a. That's a do. Don't. Stay p past 8 p.m. Misuse company time. Tamper with machinery. Enter innovation without authorization. What the? Oh, I walked over a broom. Okay. You're my broom now. Is he still there? He's still there. All right. My cursor shows how much hand I have left. That's cool. Oh my gosh! Ah. Cool. I'm just about to run out of... 
Oh, okay. Oh, wow, the frames die are dying. What's wrong with my frames? Oh, no. Oh, no, that's bad. Uh, he's gone. Bendy's gone. I mean, Huggy's gone. Um, what do I do? Make a friend. Okay. Cool. There's a pink one. Cool. Shoo! Oh ho ho ho! Oh wow. What's this? Is there, was there a hand there and I missed it? Yellow. Where's that yellow VHS tape? Oh. You're not supposed to hold it. Give me that baby head. I can't get it, okay. Red, yellow, blue, red. Oh. Oh, I see now. Okay. Huggy says, remember to take breaks. Breaks longer than ten minutes are not permitted. Okay. Boom! Ah, my legs. Okay, I need to open this up. And I also need to find the yellow tape. Ah, perfect. Yellow. Oh, that's the red hand. Um. Green. Wait, how do I get back up? Is there. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh. Hey, Huggy. Oh, I thought he was going to be back there. Um, okay. Oh! This works out. Um, am I supposed to knock this over? I think I'm supposed to knock this over. No? I need to get up there. I know the tape's up there. I saw it. Well, where the heck? Now I can watch Jurassic Park. Awesome. Where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand. <sighs> hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't fight stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's... It's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is... Is that even a word? Habitable. Cool. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, put these things here. Shoot. This is my box now. Alright, well now where do I go? Oh. Wow, oh, you really can't do much with both hands. You only have so much rope. Can I crouch? Oh, I can crouch. 
Is there a better button for it? No. I hate control. Spin, uh, kinda. Okay, cool. Okay, need to go up here. Ah, yes. Oh. Buggy. Let me out. Okay. Okay. Make a friend. Nobody leaves without a toy. Caution, do not enter. Make a friend in 1960, our founder, Elliot, what, Le, El, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Co. Those greatest feats, yet yeah, of all the amazing things that he created, the Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs to do is be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or backbreaking labor. This machine can do all that and more. Cool. Um can't pull it. Stairs. Legs are itchy. Do 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 do. Pink. Ah, oh, I need the uh, original. Tri What's a VHS in? The original. Uh, the deluxe edition of the original Star Wars trilogy. I don't know. It's one of those editions. Is this the right one? Yes, it is. How much room have I got? To spare. Not enough. Okay. Oh, I'm done. Pressing E, whoops. There we go. I'm not poo green. Uh, pink tapes anywhere? Uh, well, I did that. Where's a pink tape? Is it over here? Is it over here? Oh, I remember where it is. Right there. How do I get over there? Oh, right here. Okay. Star Wars. <laughs> so, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And 
being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back to being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult, but your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof! <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something, right? All right, I think we're getting a little off track. What is the picture, a hand? Oh, a sleeve and a hand. Okay, I see. Woo! Ow! Oh, my f my ankles! <laughs> I didn't expect that to hurt so much. Um, now I've done that, I believe it's this one now. Fostering happiness. Adopt an orphan today. Wait, what does this say? Okay, ah, it's too much. I don't have to do that. But ah! I hate you, and I uh oh. Oh, it works. Cool. Okay. Oh my gosh, I even knew that was coming and it still scared me. Turn here. I remember some things. I remember you turn there. Oh shoot! No, you turn around. No, you don't turn around. Did I just make it through this first try? Woof, woof! Crap. Ah! Wait, wait, wait! How have I not died yet?
I'm pulling! Oh, that was it. How did I make it through that without dying? I've never played this before, I swear. How did I make it through that without dying? Literally, the only thing I knew to do was just turn at that, like, first unexpected turn point. How did I know to do that? I mean, I knew I needed... How did I not die? I'm impressed with myself at that. Um, okay. I found the flower. Um, that's a... Who built this dead end? Um, black. I can watch Father of the Bride, too. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... you guys were able to hear that. I could barely. No, run, stop, go back, turn around, danger. Nah. Fancy. I was gonna say, can I live here, but I'd rather die than live in a place with this hallway. That was the most terrifying. Pillows! Woo! <laughs> Okay. Um, final thoughts on this chapter. I'm not going to play the second chapter unless it, like, goes on a huge sale, because it's less than two hours. For $10, that's malarkey. Unless, like, all the other chapters are in that same DLC. That wouldn't make much sense, though. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, um, I, I just finished Bending the Ink Machine, and I was gonna say some stuff about it, but most of the stuff, all that stuff I was gonna say had to do with this game as well, and I didn't want to ruin that video with this, so I figured I'd, um, say them here. The similarities between this and Bendy are ridiculous. Is like, it... The art style is different, yeah, but certain story beats with how it works are just hard to unnotice. Like, the machine, I know it's not as focused on this, but there's still, like, a big machine that's all important that I just made a toy with. Um, Huggy is just, this game's bendy. There's some other, there's also some th similarities with Chapter 2, but I'll try and leave those alone. There's also... Um, crap, there was something else that I was going to say. No, I think it all just has mostly just chapter two stuff, but, um, yeah. The, the game itself is cool, but when you look at other stuff around it, like the, um, price, the, um, what it, how similar it is to other games, then it kind of falls apart, but it's cool. Alone, it's cool. And I'm glad they made the first 30 minutes free. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. 
I'll play chapter two if it ever goes on a huge sale for like five or less maybe, maybe less than five dollars. Anyway, 